Hi friends, thank you for coming back. It's Elaine Marie at step number two. I hope everyone is doing wonderful and let's get going. I have my liner brush and I'm going to come in with some, well you know what, little black because the branch is right there. For me, this is how I find it's easier. I will come up just like that and that will give you the body. And what's good about doing it like this, if you started with the head up there and you didn't line it up, you might not have lined it up to the branch. And then we're going to come in here like this and then okay and then we're going to come in coming straight like this because I have a very long tail we're just going to do that for now okay and all this is going to get filled in with red. Each time it dries, I want you to go over it and over it with red. Now, I'm going to switch that over to a small angular brush. And I'm going to come in with my red. I'm going to fill in the body. Come right around. And you can go right over. outline that you made just like that okay I'm gonna mix that and each time it dries you will keep going over and over in it and I will show you and that will give it a lot of depth to the feathers Okay, so now we have the body. That's good. Let's come down here. Okay, so what are we going to do? Cues on this end of it. So, I'm going, yes. Okay. We're going to do it that way. There you go. There you go. And like I said, they have very, there you go. Very long tails. There you go. And each time you're going to make layer on layer on layer. So let's come up back with the liner brush. We're going to come up like this. Okay, and then we have this part of like top of his head. So we're going to come out, I'm going to follow that, and we're going to come up like that. That's his little hair. I'm going to wrap that, make that a little straighter. I'm going to fill that in. And right there, let me see, we have this. Okay, that should be more like an orange. And a little bit on the eye. And again, you can try a lot of different small brushes, whatever is going to work well for you okay and we do want a little bit of a black like this in the body okay I'm going to switch brushes to my small one there you go and again whatever works well for you Okay, please use that brush. And this comes down. 
I know this comes around like this. This comes around. That's going to be black. Let's fill that in. Okay, let's fill this in. That's, there you go. I gotta glance down to my camera sometimes to make sure I still got you in the camera area. Okay. Let's mix a little bit with the black. Okay, and you're gonna run a little black line going this way, right through there. And I'm sure if you have another way to make your um, cardinal, feel free. I'm just kind of giving you an idea. I'm going to run some of that black right through there. And as it dries, that'll look really, really cool. But I do find that going back and forth a little bit with your, your brushes like that. It'll come out pretty cool. Go down a little bit. And you can keep playing around with that as you go. And right now, let's not forget... Let's come in right about here, and we're going to come over that, and that's all you're going to do, which is cool, with your liner brush. You're going to come in, and that'll be a street, and what might help that a little bit. There you go. Give a little gray on that, a little bit. There you go. Again, as you keep coming, let that dry and then run your brush straight down like this with some strokes and that'll be really beautiful and you'll have a beautiful, beautiful cardinal. Yeah, I love it. It looks really, really beautiful. So as it dries, again, friends, just come down. Run a little bit of black in that also. And then another thing you might want to do, come in here and start forming out area of his wings. Well, that's it, friends. You have a wonderful day, and I hope you had a good time. Bye-bye.